Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. HD Gamer 101 here, back with another airport CEO video for you today. Woo! Okay, I'm excited about this one. So, if you look down in the right hand corner of your screens or wherever you have YouTube open, we have 1.1 million dollars as of the second in the game. Basically what I've been doing is just letting the airport run, checking up on it every now and then, and doing things I've needed to do. So, some of the things I've uh, changed since the last episode. I am not sure if I uh, only ended up last episode with my, with 10 contractors deployed, but I only have 10 contractors deployed at the moment to uh, save some money there. Um, I only have 10 deployed right there. Um, let's see where else. I engaged the ramp agent, the ramp agent service, which basically lets your ramp agents go out to the airplanes and basically run inspections and do maintenance checks. Here they are right now. And actually, if we check on the stand here, service round in progress which is super awesome so they're doing that um, let's see have I changed anything else ah this this has been happening a lot um, this one looks like it'll uh, repair itself but some of these uh, they it just gets deadlocked and this is a bug in the game right now I think if it's not please let me know in the uh, comments down below pretty sure it's a bug in the game right now where basically airplane paths just suck so if that's the case uh, and that keeps happening in this episode. What we can do is if you hit F10 on your keyboards, you bring up the developer console. Um, it's used for debugging and testing and specific functions. Yeah, so anyway, this is what we're looking at here. Reset aircraft paths. If ever the aircrafts get deadlocked, you can just reset the aircraft paths a few times and they'll, they'll figure themselves out. There's also a ton of other stuff in here. If you want to cheat the game, basically this is where you go. Um, but I've only messed around with the... Um, reset aircraft paths tool to basically get my aircraft fixed um, and something that I think will help fix that that I want to do in some future episode is move general aviation from here I don't want general aviation to be sharing the runways with our uh, commercial flights it's just getting really backed up and clogged and especially once we get that big aircraft in it's gonna be issue uh, it's going there are going to be more issues created um, I don't think I've changed anything inside the terminal uh, I don't think uh, yeah, this looks pretty much the same as it was. I definitely hired a few more uh, people uh, in between episodes, and uh, we got this. This was re uh, resupplied with some fuel. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So, what's the uh, the first plan? I'm, I'm thinking like plan of operation, but okay. Yeah, anyway, first course of action today is going to be to expand right here. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars to unlock it. Here we go. Boom! It is officially unlocked that is super super awesome um, oh another thing I did was up here in notifications if you go to notification settings uh, I have turned off other notifications completely to do not display any other notifications because every five seconds I would just keep getting the uh, people can't find their ways error like like uh, is that this dude yeah and see how they resolve themselves really fast that keeps happening over and over and over and over again and it's really annoying so I just turned it off because it resolves itself and yeah it's no big issue so it's just annoying and I didn't want you guys to be seeing a massive list of stuff anyway let's get into this episode we have a lot more area now to expand and do things with which is super awesome so I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is expand the terminal just out this way um, in the corner I kind of want to have a large like a larger square um, for like shops and all kinds of stuff like that but uh, the next terminal area let's see so I'm not going to build this yet, but the next place is going to be these large aircraft stands. So if we, these are, what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so they're 10 by 10. Good to know. So if they're 10 by 10, um, that means I need to go over seven just to get to it. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we might need to deploy our contractors. So we need to uh, expand seven, at least. Okay, so there's that. Um, another thing they added is they added rain. So rain is now a weather. They've uh, been working on their like whole weather system. Uh, there's this whole weather panel now that's down here on the uh, UI. I don't have a weather station, so there's nothing uh, here. I don't know if that information is still accurate or not. Um, but that's really cool. 
Uh, there's a ton of new planned stuff, like I uh, said in last episode. If you haven't checked out episode three, make sure you go do that because I talk about changes that are probably upcoming, uh, which is super, super awesome. Let's go ahead and demolish this down. Okay. Um, so that's enough for the actual uh, stand to go here. Now, let's see how large this was. So it was one, two, three, four. So it was five wide. I kind of want to go wider though. Kind of want to go like, I think I want to go seven again. I think if I want to go seven wider, that will be just fine. So if we do another seven here, that would probably be just fine. Okay, go ahead and demolish that as well. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and deploy the rest of our contractors. Uh, staff. Economy. No. Operations. Boom. Deploy all. Okay, awesome. Oh, another thing they added is they've added some new settings in here. So if we go actually into, I believe it's gameplay settings. Yeah, so you can change your unit system from ma from metric to imperial. I'm actually going to keep it metric. I just I like the metric system more. Um, but also, you can change the clock setting. Now, this is bugged right now. Mine says 24 hour, but as you can see, we're 9 p.m. Um, so if you just switch it over to a.m. p.m., it'll give you uh, times you're probably more used to. And this uh, slider right here, the passenger per flight ratio slider, is crucial if you're having lag issues. Basically, if you're at a 100%, you're going to get realistic numbers of passengers for every aircraft. So if it's like a, a Boeing 737, it can get up to you know 250 passengers on it. But if you maybe split that down to 50%, that means you're only going to have a 125 passengers. Um, so it can cut down the number of particles and all that kind of stuff in your game, which means your hardware doesn't have to work as hard to render everything, which is obviously uh, super awesome. So let's go ahead and uh, so we're waiting for these guys. Um, but something else we're going to want to do is go ahead and actually build the little leg here. So this needs to be 20 long like this. 70,000 right there. But that will be long enough to do everything we want it to do. So let's just go ahead and do it. And then demolish this. We're making a lot of money, so I'm not really worried about money. Uh, okay. This is looking super awesome. So something else that we're going to do, probably not this episode, but in an upcoming episode, is get the fuel service for all of these airplanes and these airplanes as well. Um, and I think the fuel... or the uh, I'm going to leave this... Well, I'll probably end up deleting this stuff because... This whole general aviation will probably get moved up here. Okay. How are you doing? Um, interesting. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's supposed to be there. Or what's up with that. Uh, oh, it's gone now. Okay, interesting. Anyway. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm going to put the aircraft stands in yet. Only because uh, money. But we're making money, so I'm not too, too worried about that. Um, let's see. So we're going to need another. So we need to make that a secure area, obviously. This needs to be a secure area. Okay. Now we're going to need a security checkpoint, just like this, this one has. Um, and this is just a large empty space that has nothing right now. So I think if what we do is we wall this, how large are the security checkpoints? Oh, they're really, oh wait, that's the small one. Okay, so I'm thinking we sort of do like one on the side here. Hmm. Should we just do them all like this? Yeah, I know you have to be inside a secure zone, but um, if we do this one, to can fit three with enough oh that small one's okay hmm um well i think what we need to do is just all right so this is all right it's easy enough just like that okay so if we do that actually want to be one more back yeah so one more here okay 
And put this one here for sure. And then here for sure. And then... Actually... You know what? No, I'm going to build a room just like I did for the other one. I think, th I think that's a good idea. I'm just going to build it out here. Actually, that's a bad spot. Here. Um, let's see. I built the other one out to right here. So we'll go ahead and do the same for this one. Okay, we'll do that. And then put the security zone inside here. Just like that. Okay. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just destroy this wall. Actually, we have to do it. Oh, wait. Wall. Destroy this. Yeah, yeah, you workers don't have anything to do anymore. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay, security. We're going to put this one here. And then this one here. And then... Oof, that's not a lot of turnaround area. That's really all I gave it in the other one? And the other one's even further out. I'm just... Terrible. Okay. Uh, so the other one, we gave our people three... But that's fine. If we just do another third one here, and then a uh, two small ones, that should be uh, good enough for what we need to do. Boom and boom. And then what we'll do is wall it off here instead of here. And then... Security zone, we don't need the security zone for any of that. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we're going to need a lot more security personnel. Um, these are for passengers only. Passenger only. This is employee only. Okay. We'll go ahead and build little small queues for both of these guys. Okay. And then we'll build large queues for these guys. Because remember, this is where the big, well, the biggest planes that are in the game right now are going. So we need the most amount of infrastructure infrastructure we can get from these guys. Okay, just like that. Building queues is just the, the best thing ever. <laughs> not boring for you guys to watch at all. Thankfully, there's not a whole ton of them, so... Alright, looking good. Uh, so now we're going to need more security personnel. Um, looks like we already had enough for that. Yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, we need f a lot, a lot more. Um, staff, applicants here. Security, just hire all. When it gives us notifications that there's more people, we need to hire the rest of them. Yeah, because that's not going to be enough. That will be enough to fill this one and this one, but we still need more for that one. Higher, higher, higher. Higher, higher, higher. Okay, that should be enough. Should be enough people. Um, we're going to need another staff room. We'll probably do something similar where we expand this just a little bit um, and put uh, staff rooms in there. Let's see. Are there? Do we have enough? Yes, we do. Sweet. All right. Awesome. That's looking, that's looking great. Uh, oh. That's what, that's what we're forgetting. Um, we need an exit. Duh. Um, okay, I knew we were forgetting something. So this wall needs to come down here. And then uh, we need a security zone, a secure zone. And like here, I don't know exactly how uh, wide the exit is. Security, security exit. I want it to go right here, so I'm just going to wait for these walls to go away. Okay, looking good. I'll build up the walls. Wall right there. And then this guy. Let's go here. Perfect. All right, looking good. So that stuff will get built. And we're somehow through all of this, we're almost back to 300,000, which is awesome. Our planes are doing great. Our flight scheduler is looking like this. I don't think I accepted any more airlines. 
Um, but automatic scheduler is still doing its thing and we're doing perfectly fine on the minimum flight separation of 15 minutes, which is as low as you can go. So um, that's awesome. Haven't had any delays or anything like that other than when I had to do the uh, flight pathing stuff. Uh, looking really good. All of our general aviation is done for the night. So nothing but commercial left, which is great. Uh, the flights arriving now are going to go until tomorrow. Looking really good. So let's go ahead and put in the floors. Let's just start making it look, uh, look okay, you know. Let's see, did I do? No, I did not. Okay. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and do the light wood floor for the rest of this for now. Okay. That looks, that looks freaking awesome. Okay. So now we need to think about how exactly we're going to do, oh, investigate is in progress. So he can't get into resolved. Okay, interesting. Um, this is also a bug. It like leaves all the secure zone stuff up, and you have to go here, and then and then right click. Okay, which is really weird, but yeah, whatever. Okay, um, so this is looking really really good. For now, we're just gonna focus on the left hand side. Uh, I think the these guys are hundred fifty thousand, right? Yeah. So I don't really know if I want to build one of these yet, um, but I do want to know where to put the Okay, so the stand should go uh, one up from there. Okay, that looks good. So we need some desks, boarding desk. So it needs to go over from this one, but up one. Over from over from this, but up one. And I'm gonna put it away from the door. It will hopefully fix the pathing issues. That we're having a little bit. We're just gonna put it one away from the wall. Okay. For now, it's gonna be the only one we put in there. Um. Okay. Uh, we're probably gonna need to hire some more airport staff. Or I'm gonna put in uh, a few more check-in desks. As well. But we're gonna go ahead and separate these a little bit. We're just gonna separate them uh, by two here. And we're gonna put in two for now. Because I, I plan to only have uh, four gates, and two should be enough. If not, we can always expand later. And then let's go ahead and finish off some of these uh, floors here. I'm not the biggest fan of how I did these floors. Um, not the biggest fan, but I think it'll I think it'll be okay. Um, we need to find like some kind of filler floor for all of this. So let's go ahead and do that now. What does the square wood floor look like? I like that. That looks good. Okay. And then here. And then there. All the way around here. There's the rain again. Ooh, we got some lightning this time. Some lag along with it as well, so. Wow, that's some serious thunderstorms. I guess nothing can really ground these uh, aircrafts. At least not yet. Not yet in the game's life. That looks kind of weird right there. So we might end up putting some seating here or something. Wow, that's, that's some heavy, heavy stormage right there. Oops. There we go. Okay. Um, wow, that's just all queued up over there. The exit here. Um, yeah, I'm really not the biggest fan of this marble. Is there like a better, a better floor to do that with? What do these look like? Ooh, I kind of like those actually. I'm a big fan. I'm going to redo what we did in marble with these guys. Just because it's a nice light flooring, but it's, it's different from those. Actually, we can keep these little off areas, the marble, but the main the main path should be like this con this concrete stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's go ahead and do this all the way over till here. Okay, that looks good. And what we'll do is we'll basically just put marble in for all of this, 
like that. All right, that, that looks really good. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this with marble as well, and we'll find something to put there a little later. Okay, that looks a whole lot better. I like it a lot. Uh, okay, so this is now, right, uh, that there near staff rooms all the way over here. We could put a new staff room out here as well. Uh, might end up doing that, but for now, we're fine. We need to put in a bathroom for sure. That's something that the that they're all going to want, no doubt about that, as well as some seating. So let's go ahead and do that. Bathroom first. Um, if I kind I kind of want to do it similar to this one, but probably a little bit longer. Uh, how wide is this? I have no idea. Walls don't give you. That walls gave you lengths. Okay, I guess not. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, let's go. Let's start it like right here. And let's do from there to there. I like that. Okay, and then up to here. All right, I like it. Nice little bathroom um, with these two knocked out. And then we'll put a door in right here. Slide door, sliding door. Okay, looking good. Uh, we'll go ahead and redo the uh, the floors right now. These guys, you know, this the standard. Uh, then let's go with let's put in some trash cans right outside. Can't go wrong with trash cans. Oh, that's what we're missing over here too. Got to put in the trash cans. Trash cans are important, especially around security. They want you throwing away all that stuff. Okay, that looks really good. Let's go ahead into bathrooms. All right, we got the toilets. Ah, we got to make it a bathroom first. That's probably a good idea. All right, that looks good. Run and toilet line that. Run and toilet line this. All right, that looks good. Uh, then we're gonna put some sinks in. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put the sinks in here, and then the hand dryers right here. It's not exactly the best design ever, but. You know what? I think it'll work. I think it'll work just fine. All right. Then we need some uh, seating uh, for this area for now. Um, let's go ahead and get the seats. Standard aircraft seats. How did I put the seats over here? Okay. So they run like this. Let's put one in between them. They're always usually pretty tight. And then we'll give our, our people like a little walkway. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm liking it. Let's go ahead and put in the floors. For that, as always. Okay. Um, I like it. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and put the little light concrete floor around it. Okay. And then here. Game. Thank you. All right, looking looking pretty good. Oh right, we got We got to add the plants and stuff as well. Can't can't forget about those. Uh, we also have new lights, so we can try out some new lights a little bit later outside. Okay, banana plants. I'm gonna put plants on this side with some. I want to put plants on this side too. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Okay. And something a lot of new airports have is they sort of have this area where you can sort of like set up your laptops and stuff like that. So I'm thinking we do that uh, along the right, uh, along these sides right here. Uh, let's see. It's probably in staff. No, no, it's not. Here we go. Laptop table. So they sort of go like this and of oh sweet there's just enough room. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll put put some nice seats on these guys. Can't go wrong with nice seats. And then what we did last time was we put like a couch out front as well. So we'll put some uh, couches out here and then you can't go wrong with some more plants it's more one by one plants specifically the banana can't go wrong with it 
All right, that area is gonna look pretty decked out. Uh, this is sort of like a little bit more upper class, but like not at the same time. I don't know. Um, yeah, okay. So our airplanes are doing wonderful. No backlogs or anything like that. We're still making a lot of money through all this, which is super awesome. Um, there's probably enough room for another one of these gates before we do the turn as well. Uh, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, we need to get up to th uh, 750,000 again to in order to unlock this. So that way we can upgrade this runway. And um, so that way ex actually accept flights for this terminal. Or this gate, rather. And then w when we do that, we'll probably also move general aviation up here. To its own runway and all that stuff. Because I'm, I'm sick and tired of it being down here. Alright, we've gotten a lot done, uh, but we still have, we're at like 25 minutes-ish, so that's looking good. Uh, let's see, with this new area, we're probably going to need more janitors, so let's go ahead and hire all the staff I think we're going to need. I'm going to hire one or two more security, just that way, uh, if, if shifts don't go right, we're definitely going to need more airport staff, like a lot more airport staff. Um, then we're also going to need more ramp agents for sure, hire up all these guys. Um, definitely more janitors and probably a few more service technicians service technicians yeah they're expensive I'm not too worried about that though um, I think that should be good do we have any more airport staff we can hire cool 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 okay that's looking really good um, okay so let's go ahead and build a staff room as well this staff room is gonna be right here just like I built that one except for this one's gonna be a little bit bigger so let's go ahead, build out the walls. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I just built these one off from each other, and I'm yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, let's go here, and then up. All right, looking good. Staff room here, and then we'll put in. I'm gonna put in like a large slide door in the middle. No, I kind of want to do a slide door on either side. Like that, okay. And then what we'll do is inside, we need to obviously make it the uh, nice dark wood floors. Just like that, okay. And then we need uh, all the seating you could ever imagine in here. Let's see, let's get the, get the sofas. I wanna space them out three so that way I can put a table in the middle. So let's do that. And of course it's not lined up correctly, but that's okay. Then we'll put in some like armchairs. Right here. I don't know. We'll we'll see how this looks. I'm not I'm not convinced this is gonna look all that great. Uh then we'll put it put in some laptop tables back here. Let's put laptop tables along this whole back wall. Okay, that looks really good. Um, okay, uh, then let's put in those, uh, tables I was talking about. Yeah, little circular tables, just right here, here, and here. Okay, that's looking solid. Uh, then I'm gonna actually go ahead and back up. Back those guys. Okay, that looks awesome. Um, then we're actually gonna, we're gonna do the round modern for everything here. Wow. Okay. Can you, like, do that? No, you can't. Okay. All right. Uh, lots and lots of armchairs for all those guys. Uh, then let's see. So if we did three, we're only have going to have a little bit of room. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is pop back to these guys. And just do this. Okay. I did that one in the right direction. Okay. That looks really good. Uh, then we obviously need some plants. Good old plants. I'm thinking some smaller ones. Like in the corners. Then we'll put uh, trash cans on the sides of those. Alright. Not a whole lot of plantage. Just, just a little bit, you know. 
All right, and then we'll put trash cans right there and there. All right, this is looking really quite good. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and do the uh, light or the square wood flooring out front here. Just for that part, just give it a little bit of life. We're actually just going to go ahead and do the rest of it. Uh, fill in this area. Okay. That looks really good. Airport starting to come together. Starting to look more like an airport, which I'm um, very excited about. Uh, no planes, backups, or stalls, or anything weird like that. We're up to 400,000, which is awesome. Very cool stuff. Uh, let's see what our flight schedule looks like. Okay, looking good. Uh, all of our airlines that are 100% um, satisfactory rating, which is, um, I'm hyped about that. Okay. Alright, so we have another staff room now, which is great. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do... No, no. Eventually the game will figure it out that the people who work in here more often are just going to have to come out and chill in here instead of chilling in here. I think they'll be able to figure it out. No problem. Okay. Um, let's see, how long is it recording? All right, we're at half an hour. That's not too bad. Um, let's see, what else can we do this episode? We definitely have the money. So let's just go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and build one of these guys just like this. Okay. And then um, we'll go ahead and connect the node. Right, um, do we want to connect it right there? Yeah, we'll connect it right there. Why not? Don't don't see a problem with that. Okay, that looks really good as well. Uh, then let's go ahead and do a little bit of future planning. So we know that the next one will fit right here. We know that it'll fit perfectly. But what we need to do is add the service road in because all of these planes need pushback trucks to even get pushed back, to even be functional. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of future planning. Let's add in um, our service roads, our asphalt service roads, too wide. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just going to have to go across the runway right there. Um, and then let's just connect it up to our current service road which is right here all right so that will connect up uh, and this is going away in the future so this is just gonna kind of go out and eventually I'll probably put the little thing closer up and out here Wow that that thunderstorm is really going you know what, we have enough for a weather station. Let's go ahead and, I don't remember where it's at though, so we'll just have to, is it like in here somewhere? Here? It's gotta be in here, right? Yeah, weather station. Let's go ahead and build our weather station. Right here, cause why not? That'll get built and that'll uh, hopefully give us this whole panel of weather. Just, you know, something cheap. Not, not no big deal. This is looking really good. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And if I add like some trash cans in the middle here, I think I think it'll look okay. If I just do this. You like how they have like those trash can centers, you know? Like there's just like recycling and all kinds of stuff like that. I think that's sort of what that's going to serve a purpose as. All right, perfect. That stand is built. We're going to go ahead and toggle the all right, we have to like connect the. Well, it's because it's, it's not online. Connect stand to here. Okay, okay. Then this needs to be like that. Perfect. Okay, and then the security is connected. Cool. Uh, we're just not going to turn it on because I don't want to pay the operating price, or uh, at least not right now. So, as you can see, here's our service road. It's been completely built and connected up. Uh, not the best thing that's going like across runways like that, but uh, I don't know. Um,. Then what we can do is go ahead and add. Uh, we'll go ahead and add the service road down there. I forgot about that. I wonder if it's better to do like two separate roads or like this. That's what I'm thinking is going to work and be the best. I don't know. 
I don't know what's gonna work and look good, but that way, you know, they can like sort of go around. I don't like a fuel truck or something. I don't know. This will probably just have to be filled in with asphalt looking stuff to make it look right. I don't know though. We'll, f we'll figure it out. All right, perfect. We got some new service roads in there. Awesome, looking good. Looking really good actually. Okay. Yeah, that was a lot of money to uh, do all that. Unless we just, did we like refill on this or something? No. Okay. Oh, right, because uh, we bought the stand. All right, but we're making money no no problem. Not any issue whatsoever with that. Um, so I think that is pretty much going to end the episode. Not We didn't do like a lot, but we did a lot. So just to recap what we did this episode. So we we expanded over here, right? We, we uh, bought that tile of land as well as we added uh, more terminal as well as a, another gate and um, another aircraft stand, a medium aircraft stand in fact, um, as well as extended our, well, yeah, extended our service road so that hopefully we can um, get some, actually I want to check something real quick. Is a depot going to even fit right there? I don't know. Not a vehicle checkpoint, a vehicle depot. So a vehicle depot will not fit right there, but it'll fit right there. So I think what we're actually going to go ahead and do before this episode is over, we're going to demolish those. And then, um, let's see, what do I want to do right here? Okay. Not that here. Okay. Vehicle depot. Just like that basic vehicle or basic vehicle depot and what we can do right here and here is put in our uh, fuel fuel stuff uh, for the the jet fuel so this is eventually gonna go away and um, this will be our new vehicle depot uh, for this area to uh, take over all of this but yeah so that's pretty much it for the episode um, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any more awesome videos just like this one or uh, any live streams and stuff like that that I do. Uh, I do a lot of live streams of other games and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I've already said, it's from Mr. HT Gamer 101. Peace out.